Hey guys and welcome back. Today will be budget review for dates November the 12th through November the 18th. This is pretty much all of my expenses for that week. For those of you guys that are new, I do budget weekly. So I separate these categories into a weekly amount. Some of them are a monthly amount and some of them are every two weeks. So bi-weekly. So it just depends on the category. But for the most part, I try to separate it as a weekly expense so that I don't blow the whole monthly budget for that category. So I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit. Groceries and house, we actually did really well this week. We budgeted $100. We came in at $124.81. Now I know some of you guys may be thinking, how is that great? If you went over $24.81 if you didn't watch last week's video of my budget review you definitely may want to check it out we definitely overspent a lot um, there was a lot of things we needed to purchase and a lot of unexpected expenses but compared to what I normally do an overage of $24.81 is not that significant so Next we have fun and eating out and this one I'm really proud of I really stuck to the budget this time and I really have been trying this week to not go out to eat so we did go out sometimes just to get some snacks and things like that um, which are part of the fun slash eating out category. So um, my weekly budget is $50 and we spent $42.03. So we have left over for this week $7.97. And what I do with this amount is I just basically put that amount to the side. And at the end of the month, once the monthly budget for that category is up and all the categories in general once I add everything up whatever's left over will go straight into my savings so next we have family outings so we planned on going out for my mom's birthday since my brother's traveling early this year during um, her birthday time so we ended up going and to my surprise my brother decided to treat us all out so instead of me using these $150 um, for the outing, which it's usually less than that, like $120 or so, um, but I always budget that just in case. And surprisingly, like I said, he just decided to pay it all to himself, which was really kind. But right after we decided to go over to his house and hang out for a little while, since he'll be going on vacation soon, so we won't be seeing him um, for about two weeks so I just wanted to spend some time with him before his vacation so we just bought like some snacks and drinks and so I treated because he paid for that so it definitely still came out cheaper um, instead of paying $150 I ended up paying $24.67 so we have $125.33 left over for this family outing definitely great there um, next we have personal spending as you can see I didn't budget anything because I've already used up all of my personal spending this month um, for gas same thing I didn't need any gas I definitely will need to fill up this coming up week for my cash envelopes I need to stuff those so um, right now like I said I didn't fill up for that week my parents rent I've already Given, given that to them, that's the first week of the budget. Then we have their allowance. We did end up going to the swap meet, so I did give them their $50 allowance. Then we have my parents' groceries. We didn't go anywhere. On Saturday, we ended up going out to eat, and then on Sunday, we went to the swap meet, so we didn't get a chance to go grocery shopping for them. So this will probably be rolled over for the following week. 
Um, for parents' outings, I had $25 budgeted. We did end up spending the full amount, and that was actually used more at the swap meet for me to purchase like food items for them because their allowance is just kind of something that they can buy something they want. So since I normally spend this amount to take them out to eat, and since we didn't go out to eat, I just used it on like snack items and things that little knickknacks throughout the swap meet. Then for beauty, we didn't budget anything. Then we're gonna keep going on to my son's allowance. We went to the swap meet, like I said, so he used his full allowance there. And my sister's decorations, there was nothing budgeted. Holiday activities will be the following week because we have Thanksgiving dinner. And then holiday decorations, I had $89 left over out of the 100. So I ended up adding it to this week just to kinda Give myself that number to know that I need to stick within that amount. So we only spent $32.38 and I don't plan on spending any more. So we have $56.62 left over. Birthday gifts, birthday activities, all of those categories pretty much don't have anything budgeted until this following week. So this is pretty much it guys as you can tell we did really well this week except for the groceries category but this is not something so um huge like i normally do sometimes i go over like 50 to 75 percent so this is definitely an improvement for me and this coming up week i'm just really motivated to continue what I've been doing this week and um, like I said me and my husband have been talking a lot about no longer getting as much takeout as we normally do and just cooking the cuisines that we really enjoy at home instead of going out and spending it on sometimes food that doesn't taste so good um, but the convenience and all of that is definitely something that is um, something difficult to get away from. So we're working on that. And with groceries, I'm still working on really trying to stick to a meal plan. Um, I still go sometimes to the grocery store and I buy things and, you know, sometimes some of the things go bad. So that's another thing I'm working on. But now that we are so close to our Thailand trip, we're about two weeks out. We definitely want to make sure that we no longer purchase like meats and pantry items. We pretty much will just be replenishing any of our fresh produce that we need. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys didn't check out my um, post that I did, it's considered like a community post. So it shows up on your feed. Um, and it was basically asking you guys whether you guys wanted to see a Q&A from me. And some of you guys said you guys did and others, I guess, were not really excited about it. So you guys declined and said no, which is totally fine. I understand you guys don't have to watch it. Um, but for those of you guys who do want to watch it and didn't leave a question on that post make sure to leave it down in the link below i'm really trying to get this video out soon and just working on all of my videos so that when i am in thailand i'm not um like leaving you guys without any videos so i really want to keep um everything up to what i normally would post which is about one to two videos a week so make sure you leave that comment down below of any questions that you do have and this actually will be i guess what you call a face reveal since i always show my hands um this is just something more personal for me so that you guys can get to see who i am which is a little bit strange for me but um i think it may interest you guys a little bit more um, to continue watching my channel and just start introducing a little bit different content I'm kind of getting bored of the same videos that I'm posting for you guys so as you guys know I travel and I'm definitely going to actually this time make sure that I post my travel videos when I went to Japan I recorded and I, honestly I was so overwhelmed it's so busy and fast-paced down there that by the time I came back 
I was overwhelmed and just didn't post anything related to my Japan trip. But this time in Thailand, it's definitely more of a vacation and very slow paced in that sense. So I'll make sure that I show you guys what I'm eating and then I'll post, I'll tell you guys how much it is in um, Thai bot. And then I'll end up putting it up on the screen what the conversion is for US dollars because offhand I probably won't know. But I'll try to do most days um, vlog and show you guys where I go and eventually we'll do more um, travel videos for those of you guys that are interested. I did get a couple questions regarding that and um, yeah just making sure that you guys stay interested if you guys have any suggestions of what kinds of videos you guys would like for me to do leave it down again in the comments and i'll see if it's something that's you know easy to do for me um and i'll definitely consider it but if you haven't yet subscribed, this is your first time watching my videos, please consider subscribing and give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. And I will see you guys soon. See you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.